De Paris n'importe bras, bras sur Ah j'entends des chansons Brad bien sûr De Paris n'importe oh. oh. oh that's my hair Hello, welcome back. We're still in France. Hooray! Because that means more delicious food for you to see and for me to eat. If you watched the last video, you saw that we were in Val de Loire. Then we drove four hours and a half down in order to reach the second region called Dordogne. It is not by some random point and shoot that we ended up here. It's because this region is home to three iconic foods of France. First, it is duck and goose land. Prepare for so much duck confit, you're never gonna want to see it again in your life. Perfect ratio of meat to fat. Then, Périgord is the epicenter of truffles. It's a marinated truffle. It's truffle oil, fresh truffles. And of course, because we're in wine, actually that would be accurate because we're in wine land, Dordogne is home to some fabulous wine. We're talking here Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, as well as Simeon. Hmm? And these are often overshadowed by their Burgundy's big neighbors. Mm -mm. Well, today we're gonna make sure to give them their appropriate place on MTL Food Snob. So first up, where we probably need to leave shortly, uh, we'll go to a farm to see where the ducks are all raised happily before they become our delicious meal. <laughs> That's him, see? Yeah, it's a Oh, I like this one. Romagnolo. Okay. It's the That one is a truffle finder. Wait, wait, this one. My new BFF. Thank God you're not driving. Oh, oh, hi. Isn't this beautiful? All of these trees that you see here, 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 here are all truffiers. So truffiers are trees that you plant and then 10 years later they'll start making truffles at the bottom. And how do you know that the truffles are in the making? Well around each tree you'll see it starts to dry out. It's as if we plugged out all the grass. Well that's because apparently the truffle kills everything else. And then when the cold season comes around, you send out the dogs, they run around and they can smell it. They will sit next to where there's a truffle that is ready to be dug out and shaved on your pastas or whatever you fancy eating. Spoiler alert! <laughs> Will the dog find the truffles that he's hidden? Oh no! The dog decided to poop. <laughs> They're really cute dogs. They're all like fluffy. <laughs> Quite fun. These are very smart dogs with very expensive taste because they find it and then they eat the truffles. Oh, so, the machine you see behind me, it categorizes the different nuts. So you have the small nuts and the really big ones. So see, these ones are used for oil and these ones are used for food. This is so much fun. Oh, you mixed that. Oh, shoot. Um, you can open your nuts with a machine or by hand. Uh, the difference is the machine, there's higher likelihood of you breaking the nut and therefore, it, you know, you can only use it for oil and so forth. But by hand, they managed to partner up with a retired couple who watches TV and every year they open eight pounds of nuts by hand with a little hammer. They open it and they put it aside. And that's how they have fantastically shaped nuts. Who knew, man? Second career. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. 
if you're vegetarian, perhaps this is not the right um, but I would love for you to stick around if you want to so just fast forward to the wine section Activity number two, how to cut a duck like a pro Super! Merci! My favorite! Nothing goes to waste. All the fat is put aside so that we can do some rillette. Oh, it's really delicious. Oh! I made it in mi cuit. So it's ready to go in mi cuit. Voilà. Tout ça comme ça. Après, je fais. Je tasse bien dans ma terrine. Il faut que ça soit bien tasqué. On met une petite sel et poivre. Oh, oh mon Dieu! <rire> Mais c'est énorme comme portion de foie gras. Ah, oh, puis il y a 300 et quelques grammes. 360, 350 grammes. Et là, je vais le faire cuire au four et au bain marie pendant 15 minutes. OK. Oh. These people know how to live. De Paris n'importe quoi. Bras sur. Ah! Oh, J'entends des chansons. Bras. These are foie gras wrapped in figs or figs like you open a fig and then you put foie gras in it. The torchon de foie gras where literally you just take a torchon which is a serviette. You put three foie and then you roll it. That's why you call it a torchon de foie gras. And then finally you... Ah, c'est ch de la chair de porc. Avec du foie gras mi cuit au milieu. Wow. Oh mon dieu! Voilà. Oh well, there's a theme, hein? Everything is made with foie gras! <laughs> Here you have two pieces of pork with foie gras in the middle. Ah, ah! Ouais, on met du foie, du foie gras euh, frais. Oh mon dieu! Non, mais c'est fou, il nous a dit que ici la portion recommandée de foie gras par personne c'est 60 grammes. Oui. C'est énorme! <laughs> ouais, c'est 60 grammes, ouais. Oh, c'est une entrée pour 4 personnes, hein? C'est vrai? Oh, bon. How do you feel, Anne? Rather comatose. That was a lot of food. Enjantant des chansons. 